Tom Mulcair's team capturing memories before boarding the campaign plane one last time, trying to move on after a night that saw the party lose dozens of seats across the country. Even Mulcair's seat was a close one, and he has to accept the new reality. I want you to know that we will work for you each and every day in this new majority parliament. Wiped off the map in Atlantic Canada, even NDP heavyweights lost their seats, including Peter Stauffer, an MP since 1997, the party's deputy leader, Megan Leslie, and Newfoundland's Jack Harris. It, it is a shock, but... Longtime foreign affairs critic Paul Dewar lost his Ottawa seat. People were just wanting to basically get rid of this prime minister, and they saw the Liberal Party as the best way to do that. By the end of the night, even Jack Layton's old riding went red. He knows it could have been worse. This longtime strategist says uh, the NDP the lost momentum of, because of the, uh, the NACAB debate and because be they so underestimated Justin effect. Trudeau. But they were more flashy. They were more um, youthful. They were more confident. Mr. Mulcair was more cautious, more statesmanlike, more serious. And I think that was probably not a good strategic choice. As for Mulcair's political waivers. future? He's got a good year or more to make up his mind how long he wants to be leader. Party insiders say Mulcair believes right now the opposition benches need someone with leadership experience. And with Stephen Harper stepping back, Mulcair wants to be the strong voice opposite Justin Trudeau.